This video is going to be about installing a Hydra tuner on a 7.3 Super Duty power stroke. First of all, you want to disconnect your batteries. I got started here. And then while they're off, I'm also going to clean up the terminals to get off the corrosion. Because they're seizing up a little bit, those bolts. So, get the batteries disconnected. And then you want to PCM right there. So when you can see it has a 10 mil bolt. You want to take that bolt out. It won't come completely out. It'll get really loose and wiggles. And that's when you know it's all the way out. And then you want to come inside the cab. I had a TS6 hooked on this. It's already cut out. That'll work for the Hydra tuner. But then you want to take out that bolt or screw and that one right there. And it'll pull out. It'll go. Uh, can't see. But to get this out, it'll slide that way. And then it will pop out straight, and then that black cover will pull off, and the PCM will come out too. Then once you have that Timo bolt loose, this side of that um, harness will pull off. You see the harness pulled out there? Then I'm going to move to the inside. I should really need to clean the inside of my pickup a little bit. But, time to take off these two bolts here. Can't remember exactly what size they were. Nope. Okay, I'm inside right now. And I'm going to be taking off this box. The 7 mil head on these screws here. They shouldn't be very tight. See, that's loose. And then what we want to do is pull off to the side a little bit. Straight back. Gotta wiggle a little bit sometimes. So you can see way back there. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Those two little clips. Try to get my phone focused. There we go. 
I'm gonna get it. There we go. Pops that out. It just catches on there so you don't break that. But I got the PCM out now. I'm gonna check all the connections, make sure that they're dirt free and if they have some corrosion on them to clean them off with a scotch brite pad but i am actually waiting for my hydro right now it's coming in the mail in about 10 minutes or so and a good way to look at these posts let me just slide it out of the box here quick good way to examine these posts in here is by a phone you can just get super close up and see if anything needs to be cleaned a little better. This looks pretty good. This side looks like there could be a little corrosion building up, so I'll clean them up and I'll do a uh, Hydra unboxing here soon. To the mailbox and the Hydra showed up, so I'm going to the shed right now to unbox it and install it. All right, let's pull it out. First thing, it looks like the USB cable for tunes and the Hydra. I got it from jellybuiltperformance.com. Um, Met him on the 73 Power Stroke page on Facebook. So this is going to go on my back window. All right. And this is the tunes that it came with. Stock, high idle, whisper mode, towing, daily driver. Um, fuel, not sure. Performance, towing, daily driver. Just all different ones. Here is the... Gives you a brush, probably to clean the contacts up on the PCM. Power Hungry Performance Sticker. Installations. Instructions. You have the clicker to go to different tunes. And here you have the chip. anything else nope so I'm gonna take this out and put it in my PCM I pulled the chip out and it also does come with a little piece of scotch bright don't want to touch them my contacts but that's where you put the new tunes in that's where the clicker connects to I'm not seeing a cable the ribbon cable in here oh that's where it is i got scared for a second there guys <laughs> but yeah there's the ribbon cable and it looks like oh yeah zip ties oh sorry zip ties and some velcro to put on the clicker i'll pull my pcm over here and start getting it together Get your ribbon cable on, make sure it's fully inserted. Then you go over to your PCM. I cleaned it up a little more. And you slide it down. And under the contacts in there. What I do is I put some strips of electrical tape or duct tape or anything you have and it presses down on the chip so it cannot wiggle or fall out. Now that we're back in the pickup, we can put this back in the PCM. Routed the ribbon cable is I just went up and underneath my kick plate onto here by my fog light switch and it's out of, the, out of the way so I can connect my PCM and connect to batteries and try her out. The batteries are in, wait to start light comes on and 
tuners on. Let's go to number 12. And number 12, and here we go. Okay, and blister mode is supposed to be like low RPM when you're at like a drive through. That's number three. I don't really want to try that out. That did not help very much. It just dropped it down like not even 200 RPM. Let's go to high idle. That works. Stock. This is extreme. Here we go. The first thing that I noticed with this Hydra tuner is it's a lot more aggressive than the TS6 ever was with the 140 tune. The shifting in it really gets gets down and gets into gear doesn't fuck around but first thoughts I really like this tuner I'm going to be racing that party bus here this next week maybe today even I'm going over to my buddy's place again so I guess let's see